Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Midweek War, where we cover all the uh, shows of the midweek. This sh- this episode, we're talking about WWE NXT. Check out the other ones on the feed on your iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio. Look for the Midweek War from the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Go to WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Uh, we're live in the studio in a Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA, Sorgatron Media Studios. And we got with us on the on the horn is uh, from Johnstown, PA, Bobby F. J. Town. Sounds painful on the horn. You're on the horn, yes. Absolutely. Wow. <laughs> right, and also with us, he has not <laughs> watched NXT, so we're going to play a thrilling game of Two Truths and a Lie with him real quick before we get to the meat of the matter. It's Larry. Hello. Hello, Larry. I'm not on a horn. No, no, you're not on a horn. You're just... I'm on a couch. But you do, you're beside Enzo hair. Next to my so, cat. Your cat. Your cat. <laughs> Oh jeez, uh, <laughs> but it is time for so so Bobby Bobby. Do you have two truths and a lie for for Larry here? I do. All right, all right. Go ahead and let him have it. Okay. Two truths and a lie. Here we go. All right. Leo Rush debuted and was attacked before his match even got started. Do you know who Leo Rush is? I, I do not. But if you say who he's attacked by, that might help. It doesn't have to be true or not. I don't know. Do I have to say? No, who you he's do not. You don't, have to. You, don't have to. you don't have to. Yeah. No. You, no, no. All right. Um. Well, 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 Leo Rush. Leo Rush. Uh, background is a guy that was really hot in Ring of Honor. Okay. So. Yeah. All right. All right. What's the second fact? The second thing. Bobby Fish, Kyle, o- Kyle O'Reilly, and Adam Cole showed up at the end of the championship match to interfere, costing uh, Roddy Roderick Strong the championship. Okay. Okay. Number three, Nikki Cross showed up as a tag team partner for... Um, Heidi Lovelace, not Heidi Lovelace anymore. Ruby Riot. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and helped her win a match against uh, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. There you go. All right. What is the lie? I'm going to say uh, that Nikki Cross coming out to help Ruby Riot is the lie. <clears throat> wow. Really? Second week in a row. She came out. Okay. Um,. So and if that one was match. true, then I'm going to say the first one was a lie. <laughs> really? <laughs> yep. I'm not good at this game. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Holy crap. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, um, I can now say that Adam Leo Cole Rush didn't attacked... interfere with the championship match? No, they did not interfere with wow. the All right. I think we'll get into it. We'll get okay. into it. Bobby, yeah. what's your word for this week? My word? Um. Hmm. Acknowledgement. <laughs> Acknowledgement. Yes. It's a good My word. My word is gonna be. <laughs> I'm gonna just hyphenate it. Hyphenate it. And Bo- and my, Matt Mike's not here to PowerPoint. to to <laughs> yeah. Matt Mike's not here to make me not say it. Uh, false start. <laughs> false start. False start. <laughs> For Leo Rush. Um, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. He sure, uh, James, he sure James blunted that up. Oh jeez. Uh, <laughs> what? A, that's a joke. I Bobby, have. what's your good? What's your good? My good. Mm-hmm. Oh, let me see. There's a lot of good stuff. I'll tell to you, mine. From. Mine was the tag match. Mine was the ladies tag match. Yeah. I'm loving. Yeah. I'm loving Ruby Riot and Nikki Cross as this weird and Billy goofy Kay and Peyton Were they getting along? Yeah, they well uh, for the most part. Yeah, yeah. They, basically they started the match. Uh the Nikki Nikki came out late for a yeah. tag. They did their thing. And then like there's it was, this, it was a handicap match at first. Yeah, yeah. And like you like know, it was the week before. There's this weird do I trust you you're kind of crazy but I kind of like you cuz you're crazy like yeah. thing going on, right? <laughs> I love mm. Nikki Cross. She's amazing. <laughs> she's she's cute as a button and crazy as a fox. Wait. Okay. Uh, cl- uh, close enough. Yeah. 
That, that, that. <laughs> that seems about right. I'll allow it. Yep. Um. Well, so th- that was my good. What's your What's yours, Bobby? My good. Yeah. Did I say already? No, you didn't. I I think you weren't sure at the moment, and oh, I went ahead. Um. I was gonna say. That whole that whole thing with uh, the Velveteen Dream and Alistair Black, like at first I was like, "Well, this is a weird feud." Now I'm like, re- I like it a lot. Really? <laughs> like, yeah, like like that's who attacked Leo Rush, by the way. Yeah, uh, who the did? Velveteen Dream come out and and another. Uh, could I add to my good? Go for it. We saw two of the best elbow drops in one hour of television. <laughs> We did. Back back. Holy crap. Velveteen Dream has an amazing elbow drop. Yeah. yeah and it Kyrie, does. Kyrie Shane does too. It's like both of their elbows are like, it's like, oh, it's she, was she on the show? Yeah, she was. She was. She took on Aaliyah, which I have questions about Aaliyah too. Um, yeah. She but was wearing the cat ears. She was wearing the cat ears. I say, she's, she's the one that oh. just came out as like nymph or something, right? Before. Like, she was not this character before. Yeah. I think before. so. Yeah. She was like super baby face. Well, that was on, that was on, um, the um breaking ground right but even she when was... she started coming out she's still been like goody two shoes you know yeah. Uh, yeah uh uh white be white meat baby face you know and, t- and now she's like kind of reminds me of eva lease in, in in uh in, in lucha underground yeah kind of yeah yeah you get that too i could see that yeah uh so so good on her for kind of upgrading and having mm-hmm. a little bit of personality out there now um and really i'm just like i'm looking at her it's like dude wait she look, kind of looks familiar, but it can't be the girl. I think she is, but it, you know, right? She, yeah. Did she yeah. realize bubbly doesn't work anymore? Yeah, apparently, apparently. Yeah. Hey, Alexa, Alexa Bliss took that turn. It, it's like yeah. the the more the more candy coated they are when they start at NXT, the more of a bitch they're going to be in such a good oh, way man. as a character man, you later. Get, you guys better run from Bailey. <laughs> 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 when she turns heel, it's going to be like oh. Hurricane Bailey. It's gonna Donald be, Trump's gonna be throwing paper Hurricane towels. Hurricane Bailey, <laughs> she's gonna be a superhero. <laughs> Jeez, baby. Jeez. Um, I, what was your what was your bad for this week, Bobby? My bad for this week. Can't really think of anything. I'm gonna okay. My bad for this week for NXT is going to be me. <laughs> what? Because I realized something. I like Percy Watson on commentary. No, you yes, son of a bitch. I do. I, th- yeah. I, I like I like the combination of Morrow, <laughs> Nigel, and Percy. Because <laughs> Percy adds to it. I mean, I, I was, I was, you know, I was a doubter of Percy Watson. I uh-huh. hated Percy Watson when he was on NXT, the game show. Is I don't he, know. He's the color commentary? Yes. Col- okay. Yeah, he's yes. not bad. Nigel, not Nigel bad. kind I of is too. Him and Nigel, him. yeah. Yeah. Uh, so so it's funny you say that because I remember I specifically tweeted how much I enjoy uh, Nigel and Morrow because there was a point during <laughs> the main event. Wait, 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 wait. Let me finish. Let me finish. There, there's a point during the main event where they, they talked about f- big fight feel like Morrow is tossing it to Nigel and say, how is it? How important is it that this, this and this, which felt like exactly like a toss over you would do to the color commentator in the middle. The, maybe it's just because I just seen Morrow do that do the biggest mm-hmm. boxing match ever in the world yeah. recently. Yeah. Uh, but, but it, you know, that thread is just like, oh, real sport feels, you know, important. It's the main event with the title between Roddy and, and, and Morrow and makes Drew. anything sound legitimate. He does. And, and so I tweeted both of them. And thank you. Thank you guys for retweeting and liking my tweet, uh, both of you. But then I very explicitly left out Percy Watson. Oh, <laughs> so I wonder if they're looking like, hey, Percy. <laughs> So I, I'm hoping I, – I don't mean to hurt Percy's two feelings. Two-man booth. Two-man two booth. Two-man two man booth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's no David Atonga. But no, 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 no. Who no, is, no. man? I mean, I mean, Did you geez. know he's making a movie? That's a bar. That's a – yeah. Yeah, David Atonga is, is still making that movie, by the way. By the, oh, jeez. <laughs> never come back. Oh, jeez. Um, but still, I mean, I, can I say I hate him less? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> is that – I, is that okay? I, I just realized I just realized that I don't mind him on commentary, and mm. that means I like him. You know, not I everybody's going to be amazing when you have like what do yeah, we yeah. have like fifteen commentators at this point? Like, yeah, I thought I, there's Tom I, Phillips, there's other Tom Phillips. Like, oh, I hope 
Yeah. There's. I mean, I, I and I yeah. like even Vic. You know, he's a, he's you know a guy we know from Prime Wrestling and everything yeah, up in Cleveland, and and he's I love that he's there and he's very good, but mm-hmm. he's not. Like he's not Jim Ross, he's not Corey Graves, right? Does great with Corey Graves, by well, the way. He's not Michael Cole, which is a plus. A plus. <laughs> it is true. So, yeah. but, but still, even the um, what, what, what people were saying, uh, they didn't even notice Tom Phillips had replaced Cole. Was like, yeah, who do you think taught him everything, right? Like, like you talk about you, you know, Arn Anderson. <laughs> Arn Anderson is telling newbies what to do on Raw. Who do you think is is mm-hmm. coaching Tom Phillips? It's Michael Cole, because Michael Cole is the Renee most Young. first. Renee Young. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> that, that would be awesome. Where's, where, where's Renee going to get her commentator status? She, they get, they uh, took her show she, away once the she budget. She said she didn't like it network. on NXT. Oh. Or she she said, "Do you remember NXT when I was on commentary?" I was like, "Yes," and we wanted more of that. <laughs> exactly. She, right. she was putting herself down, but she shouldn't. She was amazing. No, she was great. I mean, it's it's, I, and I don't know what they tell her about what they want for commentary, but mm. it was just like, no, that's just what a girl doing commentary sounds like. Is that sexist? Okay. Did I just say something um, sexist there? It can become off that way, but but I mean, no, I mean I, I don't think it's sexist because deals. their job is projecting their voice a certain way. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I don't think that's sexist. Sword just lost his Oikos deal. My what? Oikos yogurt deal. No, I will say this about uh, Vic. <laughs> I don't know what what sports Sorg. Pay attention to sports. No, Cam uh, no Newton, I don't want Cam to. Newton, Cam Newton. I will say this about Vic. I did not notice when he started 205 Live and when Tom Phillips ended, which was a good thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, It yeah, was a yeah, seamless yeah. transition for me because I don't need to know who you are. He is Tom Phillips, too. Because he, he, exactly. He's, he's, he's not supposed he's to an, be a character. He, he's an adequate announcer. And whenever Corey's filling in for Nigel, yeah. they gel so well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So... Yeah, it was good. Where are we at? Did we say bads? We said bads. Yeah, we said I'm pretty bads. sure that we said bads. Did we? Uh, um, you didn't because you didn't watch the show. Did you? If you watched the show, what would your bad be? If I watched my, the show, I think my bad would be the Velveteen Dream. I don't like him. <laughs> well, it's kind of the oh, point. He's, but he's really great. He's good, not, good, not liked. But it's I, not, I used to not like Patrick Clark, but yeah. I like the Velveteen Dream. I don't know. <laughs> I, I feel there are certain heels... I don't like because they're good heels. And then there's certain heels I don't like because they have bad gimmicks. And I don't know which one he is yet. <laughs> you need to watch this week's I episode. I don't know if I don't like him because of his gimmick or I don't like him because he's a good heel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it. Acknowledge me. Say my name. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, this whole like acknowledgement thing is pretty Pete, good. Pete Dunn. I do not like him. He is a great Pete heel. Yeah, Pete Pete amazing. He is a great heel, and I don't like him. And of course, uh, and, and a part of that it, is goddamn terrifying. Yeah, there's people at our window right now <laughs> that we know. Maybe I'm glad the door's locked. <laughs> That's not gonna stop though. <laughs> Somebody has a key. Okay. Uh, but anyways, Loiters. um, yeah, and, and I guess, and I guess my, uh, and I guess my my bad is uh, the Leo Rush thing. Um, you know, somebody came in, they give him some fanfare, yeah. really talked him up, then he just got punked out. <laughs> yep. So, um, bad start for Leo Rush. So, uh, what, uh, what would your change of the week be, Bobby? Probably what they did to Leo Rush. <laughs> yeah, probably same here. Yeah. Well, I'm taking a selfie with people outside. Okay. I okay. think um, my change of the week would be that you would watch it i would watch yeah, it exactly <laughs> yeah i don't remember what my excuse was for not watching it but i think it was a good one. <laughs> oh no i do remember i was watching 205 live <laughs> good choice that's what good i was choice good that's choice. what it was because, I, yeah yeah and i really and i wish mike mike was here because i you know that, that was a good match i know he'd be like very white like this is very white bread i don't yeah. know what's you know Rod, roddy i don't care but they did a thing at the end where they did the to to the lie. Roddy had a kind of a nod and confrontation with uh, with Adam Cole and company. Mm-hmm. So that's if anything's anything's gonna make him interesting, make him there's part of that. There's people in the studio. Yeah, there's people. There's people in the studio. There's just <laughs> there, there's there you go. There's just stuff just happening. wandering around. Yep, yep, exactly. So, uh, Bobby, could, yes. Could I tell you my uh, two of five li- or my uh, NXT story? Go ahead, tell your NXT story. I fell asleep 
right at the end of the episode. I fell asleep right when they counted one, two, three, <laughs> and I went like it was like one, two. I was wow. out. Wow. And then like the next day, I saw a gif of Adam Cole coming out and putting his armor out. I'm like, when the hell did this happen? Bobby, so Bobby, if you've learned anything from this show, you don't doze off until you see Made in Florida I at the know. end of the show. Like I said, it's been a stressful week. I've been really tired. But it's absolutely, fine. Absolutely. Fine. I, and, and where do you place uh, NXT of the two shows you saw? One. What? Number one? Out of two. One. Out of two. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And Surprise. And if you would watch it, where do you think you'd place this out of uh, out of this in uh, 205 Live? Because <laughs> apparently, apparently 205 Live was uh, one in your heart. Probably two. Yeah, same here. Uh, number three for me behind this in Lucha Underground. So there's that. So I didn't watch Lucha Underground. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Oh, we do two network. Really guys, guys, if if you can hear me out there, write your local congressman to get what? El Rey Network on my cable package, please. Um, okay, man, please. you missed a lot of blood. Uh, Bobby FJ Town on Twitter. Yep. Larry, wherever he ends up. Hi. Bye. Sorgatronmedia.com for all the great shows. Again, please give a shout out to our friend Tom Liturgy. We had him on the uh, the Indie Mayhem show this week. You can go listen to that uh, nearly an hour interview we did with him. And uh, while you may recognize him as in ring voice of some local promotions here, he's actually on to promote something a little different for that show the history of professional wrestling in Pittsburgh. It's going to be a class uh, he's going to be doing with the CCAC at their North Campus up on uh, Perry Highway in McCandless. I think I was near that here today. Uh, the class starts on October 11th. If you'd like to register for the class, it's $49. At even and you can visit ccac's website or click on the ad at wrestlingmanshow.com it'll take you directly to the class and information on how to register uh we will also be sharing registration information on our wrestling mayhem show social media as well uh be sure to check it out there's never been a better reason to be educated Exactly. Exactly. Educate your Go to school, house. learn something. It started. Kids. It started with a class that somebody else did on the history of Bruno San Martino, and now we're at this. And as <laughs> you're not in there, <laughs> she's got a perfect mullet right now. She does. She does. Look get, at that. Get in, you got to get business in, the, in front, party in the you back. You got to get in a camera here. <laughs> get, 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 lean in. Lean in. It's like it's like if Ellen DeGeneres like ah! stuck her finger in a light <laughs> socket. Not Ellen DeGeneres. Uh, I'm Ellen. Uh, the lady from the Jane. Uh, oh, the one from Glee. Lynch. Jane yeah, Lynch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jane Lynch. Oh, jeez. She, she does that hair sometimes. Anyways, we'll see you guys next time on the Midweek War. Jeez.